I clocked in 160 hours of Baldi's Basics Plus gameplay, so I can tell you what are my favorite items and characters in Baldi's Basics Plus. What's up everybody? Today, I'm going to be ranking every Baldi's Basics Plus character and item on tierlist.com. Keep in mind that all these items and characters are going to be ranked from version 0.3.8 and every character or item that comes later will not be on this list. This is just me expressing my thoughts. So let's get on with it. The Alarm Clock the alarm clock is definitely a pretty good item, if you know how to use it correctly. With the changes that was made in a previous update, where you could change the time of it, I think it's definitely worthy of... Um... B. B tier. Solid middle of the road item. The apple for Baldi. The apple for Baldi is, without explanation, S tier. I don't really need to explain. I don't really need to explain why. You all know it. Baldi's least favorite tape. This is... It's a pretty fine item, I think. It's not used as much as it should. So I think for that, I'll just put it in B. Big old boots. Big old boots are definitely... They're only really useful for a certain number of things. It's useful for getting not pushed around by characters. And it, only, and it is only really used for that purpose, so C tier, unfortunately. B soda. B soda is definitely a very good item. Definitely if you can find it in a faculty room or a vending machine, definitely A. Dangerous teleporter or teleportation teleporter. This is definitely a is a really good item if you could find it, but it's definitely a of one of the wild cards of Baldi's Basics Plus. So for that, I'll just put it in A. Not amazing, but not good as well. Dirty Chalk Eraser. It's definitely really useful if you know how to use it correctly. Just get into a corner of a room and then use it. None of the characters will be able to find you. So for that, definitely, um, S. I think S. Energy Flavored Zesty Bar. This item is definitely really good. Honestly, I think it, it's really awesome if you could find it. So that, it's definitely an A tier. The faculty name tag. The faculty name tag is definitely a really good item. Again, as long as you know how to use it. All you have to do is just use it and you can break any rules you want for 30 seconds. So yeah, definitely A tier. The grappling hook. I don't really need to explain the grappling hook, but I'm just, I'm going to do this real quick. I will take no further questioning. <sighs> <laughs> Portal poster. The portal poster is definitely, it was useful for a time, but now it's not really that useful because characters can go through it now. So I think I'm just going to leave it at B. It's useful in certain situations. Principal's whistle. The principal's whistle is definitely, it is pretty useless as of 0.3.8. I mean, the only thing you can do is just call the principal to you to deal with the bully and that's really it. So I'm just gonna have to put it in D. Not something I'd want to carry on me, especially to floor three. Now the principal's keys. These you can use for obviously breaking out of the detention early. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure you can get out of locked rooms that are locked by Mrs. Pomp or Chuckles. But yeah, they do serve only one purpose so but it can be used for multiple things as well so yeah see the quarter is definitely a good a good solid item you definitely want one of these at least one of these quarters going to the third floor because there could be a coin door that you could find that you would need to use this quarter on so definitely be safety scissors you can just use these to cut through certain items you can use them to cut through certain objects so yeah, definitely very helpful in many situations. Yellow door lock. So the yellow door lock, it's just really, it's only really used for one purpose, locking yellow doors. And you know, you don't really find yellow doors that often. You don't find this item that often. So I'm just gonna say it's a uh, uh, C. WD no squee. WD no squee is definitely, it's a pretty low tier item. Definitely. If you know how to use it, then you definitely, then you're definitely sitting good. I mean, all you have to do is just, is just left click which will silence a door and will silence a locker so body doesn't hear you enter them. So it's good for just a B tier, I think. Um, B actually. So with the items out of the way, now let's get on to the characters. First prize. He is useful in certain situations, but other times 
especially in classic he is definitely a nightmare because you can get stuck in his collision but in plus he's much more easier to deal with so for him he's definitely useful in certain situations so i'm just gonna put him in b baldy 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 himself yeah baldy he's definitely you know since he's the main uh, antagonist of the game he's definitely you definitely would hate him because he's the only character that can end your game so i'll just put him in b he's he's mid beans beans is definitely pretty beans is pretty fine i mean yeah i think b for him as well getting stuck in getting stuck in in the gum wad that he shoots at you is definitely is definitely pretty bad chuckles yeah he locks you in he locks you in rooms so c the bully yeah the bully is definitely c he just shows up randomly and deals your items so yeah trash know your place trash cloudy copter and again he is definitely a very helpful character in certain situations he can also be a detriment to you so yeah, for that be playtime I will take no further questioning on that. The Test. The Test is actually my favorite character in Plus. I think he's really cool, just because he can stop characters in their tracks while you're looking at him, but you get a heavy punishment if you look away from him for too long, which is two minutes of blindness. So yeah, I think his overall design is really appealing to me. Arts and Crafters. So Arts and Crafters is definitely a chaotic neutral, I think, of the schoolhouse. But but yeah, he is, he can, he can definitely be annoying sometimes. So yeah, he's going in B. Mrs. Pomp, yeah, he just definitely probably one of the scariest characters in the schoolhouse. I think C, pretty annoying. Gotta sweep. Yeah, gotta sweep. He is pretty good. He is a pretty good character, I think, especially when it comes to mechanics, because, you know, he can sweep characters away. He can sweep you away, but he can sweep you towards your destination sometimes. So that's pretty useful. So I'll just, uh, I'll put him in, actually, I'll put gotta sweep in B and first prize in A. A for... I'll bet they won't have... <sighs> Wow, they have an apple? The principal. The principal is definitely really, really, um, yeah, he is pretty annoying sometimes. So I'll just, I'll put him in, in C. 